Robert Sparks. On September 25, 2019, the state of Texas executed its seventh death row prisoner this year. 45-year-old Robert Sparks, was executed by lethal injection at the Walls Unit of the Huntsville State Penitentiary. Sparks received the death penalty in 2008, after a triple murder he committed the year before. Robert Sparks was married to Char Agnew, and was the stepfather of her children, two boys aged 9 and 10, and two girls aged 12 and 14. On September 17, 2007, in Dallas, some time past midnight, when everyone else in the house was asleep, Sparks stabbed his wife 18 times, as she lay in her bed. He then went into the boy's bedroom. As 10-year-old Raquan lay sleeping, Sparks woke 9-year-old Harold, and took him to the kitchen, where he stabbed him at least 45 times. He then woke Raquan, took him to the kitchen, and killed him in the same way. Sparks then dragged the boys' bodies to the living room and covered them with a comforter. He then went into the girls' bedroom and woke 14-year-old Lay Kenya. He pulled her out of bed at gunpoint, tied her up with bed sheets, and told her he had killed her mother and brothers. He showed her their bodies and told her it was her fault they were dead. Next, he woke 12-year-old Garisha and tied her up with electrical cords, putting a washcloth around her mouth. He then told Lay Kenya that in order to save her and her sister's life, one of the girls must have sex with him. Lay Kenya said that she would do it, and Sparks took her to the living room, raping her on the couch. When he finished raping Lay Kenya, Sparks took Garisha to the living room and also raped her, next to her sister. Then, he made the girls stay in the bathroom with him while he took a shower. As a monster that he was, he apologized to the girls for the rapes and murders. He also told them that their mother had been trying to poison him. He then forced both girls to kiss their mother's face, and put them into the bedroom closet. Finally, the killer left the house. After borrowing a car from his mother, Sparks drove to the home of his former girlfriend, Shanta Alexander, and their teenage daughter Brianna. He told Shanta what he had done, gave her some money, and said that if there was a reward for his apprehension, Brianna should have it. Shanta told him to give up and call the police, which he did, providing the address to the crime scene. After destroying his cell phone, Sparks left Shanta's home. Later in the morning, he bought a bus ticket under a false name, and went to Austin. However, only a few days later, he returned to Dallas and was arrested. Robert Sparks was convicted, and entered death row on January 8, 2009. In 2019, he became the 16th death row inmate executed in the U.S. And that's all for today. Please share, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell if you want to be notified of new uploads. See you next video.